Hi YouTube. Um, many of you guys know me as Jinx Cat Online. I've been an active part of the ME community since last October when I found a name for the things that I'd been experiencing since 2007. Um, I'm a trained journalist. I have a bachelor degree uh, in electronic broadcast and journalism communications. Um, I've spent the last five months researching following political, religious, scientific, personal sources, trying to put things together to piece a, together a very complete view of what the Mandela effect sufferers are experiencing. My research has been most concerned with two areas that I feel are often overlooked in the community, but in my experiences are very important topics for ME sufferers, namely what we all have in common and the strange actions of those around us when we do try to spread ME information. I'm currently going through a list of commonalities that most of us seem to have. I've been compiling it for a while now, asking people questions, seeing what people's responses are, taking notes on ages and sexes and religion, really putting together a list from all of the information I re receive from people. Uh, I currently have a list of commonalities that most of us seem to have. I run an email support group along with Regatta Bonner, who is another very active community member. Um, I will put him in the links. We've seen a need for support from others online uh, when odd responses from friends and family have left us feeling very alone. Um, We've created an email support group thread. We're really happy to share that information and support each other in a safe environment. Our group is not to convince people of the effect. Um, everybody in our group already believes in the effect. Uh, our group is to provide a safe place where you don't have to convince people. Um, it's a place for those people who want to share ideas, information, and personal experiences, people who want to join together to run experiments and discussions. So if you are feeling um, very alone and you would like to join, then please email us. It's jynx E F F E C T at gmail.com. That's jinx effect at gmail.com. And as many of you guys know, I have been working on a video um, that I was really hoping would encompass all the research that I've done thus far. The problem that I'm having is honestly, I don't know where to start. Uh, I have a hundred of, you know, effect examples along with residual evidence. Um, I have lists of commonalities between sufferers. I have personal experiences of things changing in real time before my own eyes in my physical and not the digital world um, and experiences that others have shared with me too so I have years of self-study in quantum physics and its many theories and how factual applications are now being you know uh, involved and information on ear ringing on mass episodes of pain religious revelations coming true today so I keep putting this video off that I have a dream of in my head as being fully comprehensive and I keep adding things to my giant Mandela folder which basically uh, just seems to grimace at me every time I open the computer and hope to get anywhere at all. Since I'm trained specifically in broadcast journalism, the fact that the video is going to be awful and the audio is going to be awful is just killing me as well. Um, unfortunately, new effects are constantly happening. New information is constantly being introduced to me. I'm always researching and it seems from my research that things are speeding up, that shifts are happening, and much more uh, synchronicities are happening between the people who are experiencing them. I feel like something is is moving along here and I need to get these videos up and get involved that way. So I'm done trying to convince people. The information I'm putting out there is for the people who have educated themselves enough and are already at a point where they no longer need the convincing or the examples that we've heard thousands of times before. I may post some of them if I find good quality residual, otherwise you're not going to hear me talking about Bernstein, Bernstein, uh, I'm not going to be talking about Luke, I am your father, we all know that already. Um, we're way past that and honestly I just don't really have the time or the patience to do that right now. So today I'm being forced out of my comfy space, um, I hate being on screen, I'm going to get out of my place of procrastination because I came across something last night that honestly led me to to put some pieces of information together. Um, and so although I believe that I do have some very specific conclusions on the effect at this time, uh, that explains residual, ex you know, uh, excuse me, residual existing, um, our sensing ringing in the ears, the physical pain that people are experiencing, why we all have these certain things in common, why there are flip-flops and changes that we've seen, and why people are experiencing changes at different times from each other, even if it's the same change. Um, I have 
a very good conclusion um, that I've come to on all of that. However, this video is not going to be that one. So this is being put out specifically to introduce you to the piece of information I haven't seen others mention, um, as well as introduce you to me and the community to myself um, and show that I'm more than just a voice behind a picture on the screen because I know that I appreciate that. If you're a debunker, if you're a naysayer, if you want to tell me how ugly I am, or you just want to add some stupid, clever comment about how crazy I am, then just get off the video. Honestly, I just don't have time for you, and your comments are just going to be ignored or removed. And that being said, let's get into this. So most of you are going to be familiar with one of the most common land mass Mandela effects. Um, this one I personally remember very clearly. I was a freshman in high school when the residual proof was created. So in the cult movie Dazed and Confused, there's a short segment that shows the globe as many of us remember it being before the ME changes affected the locations of the land masses. I personally remember the land mass left of Australia, which is depicted in the movie. Well, surprise! In our current reality, this landmass never existed. Or did it? In 2013, an Emmy community member found images of a possible landmass on the ocean floor in the area where the landmass is shown on the movie's globe. The landmass is supposed to be located in the same area that the ancient Lumeria is said to have possibly resided. That in itself is very interesting, and it's been discussed at length online so far. There is, however, a new piece of the puzzle. So on February 1st, 2017, it was announced that scientists have discovered a lost continent under the island of Moraida. I'm going to say it wrong. So the implications of this are really huge. Um, what caused this landmass continent to sink below sea level, you know? And how can we remember it if it has resided below the ocean for 3 billion years and we just found it? And is it possible that it is lost Lumeria? Um, the found continent, the missing land mass from the movie globe, is it all coincidentally uh, located in the same space? Is that possible? So anyway, that's what I've got for you today. Uh, thanks for watching. Please share the video. I want to get as much info to as many of us out there as possible. And I'm here. You're not alone. We're in this together. You are not wrong. Just remember that. Keep the faith and I will see you next time.